Joe Bonamassa is a three-time Grammy nominee who is kicking off his U.S. tour right here in Springfield on November 1st at the Juanita K. Hammonds Hall for the Performing Arts. Joe, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Welcome to my house. I love your house. It looks amazing. You're coming to us from Nashville. Yes, um, we start rehearsing um, uh, just in a couple of days. I think we, we start on Friday and then our first show is in Springfield, Missouri. So it's like, so we're either gonna be great and the best that we are gonna be for the whole tour <laughs> or terrible. I can't, I can't decide yet. I'll know on Friday how good the band well, is. Well, the We've first show is always the best, Joe. The first show is the best. The second show is not so good. Remember, that's how it goes. It's show business, yeah. I mean, we're, we're excited. And, and you know what, it's, it's, it's always fun to come back to Springfield because I, I've been coming there uh, since I've been a kid. You know, we, my first band in the 90s, we would play, you know, uh, I mean, uh, all the places in Springfield. Oh, Springfield was always a stop across the country where you could find an audience, even right. when nobody knew who you were. And it's, it's still the same. And it's like I got friends there and I'm looking forward to it. How long has it been since you've been to Springfield? Oh my God, I think our last trip there would have been 2018. Okay, well, it's changed a little bit since then. It has. Has it? Yeah, we're growing a little bit. Things are looking a little different, but we're excited to have you back. Um, so that is November 1st. And folks, if you haven't gotten your tickets, you want to get those. It's going to be a great show. But let's talk about your 25th number one Billboard Blues album, Time Clocks. How excited are you about that? Well, you know, it, it's, it's funny. It, to look at it because I've been doing this so, so long that I have the most number ones in the history of the Billboard Blues category, which is 25, which is, it's, it's insane to me because I, I don't know if it's just by sheer volume of, of output or, or, or it's just people like my music. It's really, it's really a testament to the fans that have followed me a, 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 with, along on this journey for the last 30 years that we've been able to put out so much product and it's been so successful. So, I mean, if, if you told me when I was 12 years old and opening up for B.B. King at the Juanita Hammonds, uh, you know, Center for the Performing Arts, that I would have 25 number one Billboard blues albums in three Grammy nominations, I'd be like, you're you're crazy. Like, how does that even happen? So, well, it happens know. to guys who open up for B.B. King when they're 12 years old. I'm just saying, how old were you when you started? Oh, uh, when, when I, uh, how old when I was, I started, started playing. I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been playing guitar now 41 years, believe it or not. I'm Amazing. 45 years old. I'm so, uh, you know, I, I don't remember a time when, I mean, if you, if you, if you look around behind you, I live in a house of guitars. It's like, it's like a functioning museum. And um, I don't remember a time when guitars weren't part of my life. And I just been lucky enough to, to just, stay a big kid and and not really have to be accountable for <laughs> anyone or anything. I love it. You know? I love so, that too. That's great. Hey, I want to ask you, who are you most excited to work with on your album Time Clocks? Because you worked with a lot of really well-known people. Yeah, you know, I mean, we did this, we did this album kind of like we're doing this interview mm -hmm. on a Zoom call. Mm -hmm. And they, they have the technology because my producer, a longtime producer, he's from Australia. And we did this album in February, 2021, where he wasn't allowed to travel from Australia to, to um, America. So we did this on Zoom. We were in New York City. Um, I, 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 have, I, I live in New York City part-time. And um, we were in New York City recording with a very small group of people, Anton Fig on drums, Steve Mackey on bass, and, and, and yours truly. And, um, and he would do it on Zoom. So he would get up at like one o'clock in the morning and be on the Zoom call for 2.30. It would be noon or one o'clock. I think it's 15 hours. Yeah. So it was really one of the strangest albums we've done because of the technology involved and the fact that none of us, only three of us were in the room at the same time and everything was mailed in. You know, like, well, you'll do your keyboard player, you know, your parts and then we'll mail them in. You know, and, and, and then he just uh, basically kind of uh, compiled it all. And here we are. Time that, is, that is so cool. But um, you, you still made it happen. And that, that's fantastic. And hopefully we're going to hear some of those songs on November 1st. Well, we just recorded a DVD at Red Rocks in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, and, and we had these gigantic television screens. They were like these, the, 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 it was the, I asked the guy who, who, who rented us the screens, I go, how much does that screen cost? And he goes, he goes, he goes a little under a million dollars. I go, wow, that's a nice TV, man. <laughs> you, got, you, you got the best TV in town. 
So we just did this whole thing where we did the entire record uh, start to finish um, uh, in, 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 in Colorado. It's great, two nights at Red Rocks. And then, um, uh, so that's going to be a DVD. So that music is fresh in our mind. So we're going to play a lot um, of, of, the, uh, of the, the Time Clocks album um, uh, coming up in the next tour. So, awesome. so Springfield, you're first off. If you Yay. don't like it, Get your wrist. We're Get excited to hear you. I want to ask you real quick before we go about uh, your life was documented by uh, in a film called The Guitar Man. Did you yeah. see that? I, 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 not only did I see it, I lived it, you know? It was, um, it was accurate. It was very accurate. I mean, like, I was so honored. I mean, like, you know, Paramount Pictures put it out on uh, all the streaming services. And it, it actually it actually aired in a few theaters, which I, did, I didn't see. But I only saw it once because I, I think it would, would be kind of weird if I just sat there by myself watching a movie about myself over and over and over again. I, would I think agree. It, would, it would be weird, right? I mean, yeah. like. I know I'm a musician and we're in show business, so narcissism <laughs> is part of it. Right. But, but I think it would be weird. And um, I saw it once, and the one thing I would say about the movie is it did elicit some of the feelings that I had, um, uh, you know, of, of, of uncertainty and doubt and dread in my early career, because not only are you trying to, like, figure out if you're good enough to be in this business. You're also trying to figure out how to make rent. Right. So that the summation of, of that experience and how fast everything went by, it, it brought back some of those memories, both good and bad. And I said, you know, that's why this movie is actually pretty decent. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. I'm going to check that out. But it's interesting to know that someone as accomplished as you has those same thoughts. You know, it's like, is it good enough? That sort of thing. But definitely you've made it, Joe. So we're, we're happy for that. Look at me, I'm on TV. Look at you, you're on TV. And you're going to be in Springfield, Missouri on November 1st at Juanita K. Hammonds for the Performing Arts. We can't wait to see you. Thank you for stopping in today. Great to talk with you. Thank you very much for having me. Have a great day. All right, cheers. Okay, Thank you. Cheers.